This is a short video showing the, the Wetzel tripod pan stand. So you can see here the stand is fully collapsed. And this is actually the, the oversized model that fits uh, 26 inch pans. Uh, so you can see it's this lined up. It's just under, it's a quarter inch under 30 inches. And it comes with a, a Mapex uh, tripod base with a memory lock and it's got a black electroplate finish on it. Um, the memory lock makes it nice so you can uh, have the, the same height every time. Um, so I, what I like about this is it folds in a very compact size. I have a similar stand that the uh, uprights, they don't come together correctly. And so this one fits really nice. And uh, if you had this all together in, in a really compact case, you could probably get by with something six inches width by six inches height by 30 in inches in length. Um, I know uh, Marta at uh, Wetzel Pan Stand is working with an, a vendor to have a, uh, a custom case available f for these um, so that this, the upright portion is, has a divider, uh, a soft divider between them so that when these two come together they don't scratch each other up because this finish um, will get, uh, you know, uh, scratched. And so it won't, to keep it looking nice, you have to be careful and just, if you have a divider that would, you know, save the finish. Uh, so I'm going to assemble this. The base is double braced and it's, you can see it's pretty wide. Now it's best to put the upright in place before trying to uh, raise the uprights. So this is their um, innovative, you know, uh, lift and lock system. Basically, you, you can see right here, it's, it's that's the lift part. It comes down into a little channel right here. And then you simply tighten like so. So I, I can easily do this with one hand if the stand is, you know, I already assembled to the base. And that's it. So um, you have one other adjustment up here. I'll just mix a little bit. Uh, if, you, if I had a second hand for you, I could show you it's, you can get this right to where you want and it easily tighten it to just the right spot. It's easy, so you can make a micro adjustment very easily. Um, so let me grab my, my pan and put it in there. Oh, I almost forgot. A uh, huge important thing here is um, the way this is designed. You can see the the deep well or V instead of a brazon. You can see right here. This is you know what you typically see a hook attached by a weld or something like that. This I'm looking at right now. This is a pan, uh, pan yard stand, and they actually have something that comes through to the other side. Sometimes they're just a simple weld on or braze on. So, uh, install a pan. So now you can see. It rests uh, securely in there, and if I just give you an idea how 
um, deep that well is. It looks like it's a half inch, sorry, half inch well. Um, but because it's it's in and not like onto the side, um, it might need necessitate um, installing some new hangers. Like these, I had I had these are longer than the other ones. I had the standard ones. So like a typical hanger is is only going to get you about two and a half inches. And these ones are getting me four inches of distance from the pan. Now that's partly because this stand was made for a 26 and mine is a, a 23 and a half inch um, rigid rib rim pan. So you might not need it quite as long as mine, but probably longer than the standard hanger. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, get a couple more views from the side here so this is the front of the stand the fabrication all looks uh, very high quality I haven't taken an angle um, to this yet but it looks pretty straight and true uh, I have a custom stand that it's like way out of 90 degrees it's way bad. It doesn't affect performance or anything, but it just kind of irks me. <laughs> so, there you go.